I got some makeup. I got some makeup. I got some makeup. Hey, 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 hey. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, y'all knew this was coming, right? Sephora, VIB sale, holiday sale, whatever they wanted to call it this year. I had to do some shopping. I try to only get products I can get at Sephora at Sephora during this sale and then I tend to shop at Ulta for everything else because I like their reward system better. I really didn't plan on doing a lot of shopping this year just because I've been buying so much stuff and not only that but individual brands have been having sales too. Like Fenty had a sale they had 25% off plus 10% off. So why would I not shop at Fenty and get more off versus just getting 20% at Sephora? I do have a few boxes because I was like, I'm only going to order these couple things. And then I was like, oh, wait, but I want to order this too. And so that was another order. Then that was another order. And then one of my orders came in shattered and used. How is that even possible ordering online? I brought that straight back to the store. And then while I was in the store, <laughs> I bought something else. So I'm not going to keep you waiting. Before we get started, you're here. Join the family. Click the subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you know every time that I upload. If you like to see hauls, you're in the right place. Stay tuned and keep on watching. So I'm just going to start off randomly picking up as we go. Start with this little bag. Y'all, how long has this product been out? How long? Ask me why I'm just now picking it up. I'm going to tell you. Because I wasn't going to get it. I have several Natasha Denona palettes. I am not normally a cool tone girl, even though I like this little look I have going on today. And I was just like, I'm going to get the ColourPop Stone Cold Fox palette, and I'm going to stop there. When I tell you I am so obsessive compulsive, and when I get fixated on something, it is just a whole process. I bought the Stone Cold Fox palette and then I was like, well, now I want to try other cool tone palettes. So I went and bought the Milani Soft and Sultry palette. And then I bought the Beauty Bakery Breakfast in Bed palette. That's this face today. And then I was like, you know, we're just going to go ahead and get Natasha Denona because I know I love her shadows and it's pretty. Like, I watched all the videos, I watched all the tutorials, and I was just like, you don't need it, you don't need it, you don't need it. I don't need any of this, but I wanted it, and I couldn't stop thinking about it. And then it went out of stock, and I couldn't find it at the store near me. I couldn't get it online. So then that sparks this, oh my God, I want it, I want it, I want it in me, which is absolutely ridiculous. I acknowledge that. I ended up finding it in stock at one of the Sephora's in like the one of the biggest freaking malls in Houston, the mall at the Galleria. And I was just like, I hate that mall. I'm not going all the way over there for an eyeshadow palette. And then I went all the way over there for an eyeshadow palette. So I now have this and I'm going to do a comparison to see how these colors look with some of the other cool tone palettes I have. Just to see, I'm going to keep it, it doesn't matter, but I just want to see how it compares to the others. So, I officially now own the Glam Palette. The next thing I picked up was this Tatcha Pore Perfecting and Protecting Set. It is a $52 set, and I picked this up because it has a cleanser, the water cream, the liquid silk canvas, and the Kisu lip mask. I picked this up for the silk canvas primer i wanted to try the liquid and the liquid by itself is 52 dollars and so i was just like well i can get this whole set and try some other stuff that i know i love for 52 dollars i have a lot of primers that i love already so let's try the whole set this is cute versus just spending 52 dollars on one product i will finally get to try out the silk canvas primer but i was really excited about this lip mask too i love getting little minis like this because it's very rare that i go through a whole product y'all know i'm struggling to get this out the box 
This is the sample size of the Silk Canvas Primer. I'm not pumping this on my hand because I'm not wasting it. But you will see it in a video. And then I have had this water cream before. These little minis I love getting because I put them in my travel bag. And then I'm going to do the same with this lip mask because I currently do not have a lip mask. In, I have a lip balm but not a mask. So this is going in my travel bag. And then I have this cleanser in my bag and it's almost out. So this is perfect. The next thing I got was this Marc Jacobs The Glow Show Hydrating Skin Care and Makeup Essentials. This was, I want to say, almost $70 and it was on sale for like $35 or $39. I'll have everything listed and the 20% off. I love going through the sale items during the sales because then it makes me feel even better about buying high-end stuff. This comes with the Undercover Blurring Coconut Face Primer. So there's a sample size of that. Then it also has a full size of the Marc Jacobs Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Sugar. So that's what this looks like. This is just like a very milky, I don't know why I thought this had, oh, I guess it does have a little bit of sparkle in it, but you can't see it on my hand. But that's what that shade looks like. Then it also has this mini do you do drops this is their coconut gel highlighter swatch a little bit of this that's pretty very shiny since y'all know i've been into all my dewy products looking glowy like i am right now i think that's gonna be very pretty and then it also came with a full size of this Marc Jacobs Youth Quake Hydrafull Retexturizing Gel Cream. Deeply hydrating, powerful pineapple enzymes. Your glowy complexion starts here. Marc Jacobs packaging is always so luxe and beautiful. So to be able to get all this for like $40, I think was well worth it. Actually less than that with the sale. I finally caved in and picked up one of the Patrick Ta blushes. I've heard so much good stuff about these and I don't normally buy a lot of high-end blushes, but y'all know how much I love blush. So I was like, well, let me just check it out. This is what the packaging looks like. Very luxe, rose gold, try not to blind y'all and also not show you my dirty table. I like this little component, very cute. This is what the shade looks like. This is actually a powder blush and a liquid blush. And you know I've been into more liquid products lately, so I'll show you swatches of both, even though I don't want to touch it. This is the liquid, this is the powder. And these you can actually put the powder first and then the liquid on top to give you more of a glow. So I cannot wait to try that and see how it looks. I was not gonna pay full price for this, even though you kind of get two products in one. I don't know, I just feel like there's a lot of drugstore options that can do the same thing, but I guess the formulation's a little different and then also maybe the wearability. But a lot of times you're paying for the packaging and the name, so totally a preference, but I like those shades and I was able to get it on sale, so I wanted to try it. The next thing I picked up is this Becca Instant Awake Three Steps to Bright Eyes. Now this I could have gotten from Ulta, but I was just like, go ahead and get it while you're placing the order. I wanted to try this because it has the anti-fatigue under eye primer, that's the full size, then a mini under eye brightening corrector and a full size under eye brightening setting powder. Honestly. I got this whole thing for under eye fatigue primer. It is this green shade right here. And I heard Mel Thompson talk about this. I have been having issues with my under eyes looking a little dry and not sleeping well. So I was just like, she says she can't live without this. So I thought it would just be something nice to try. Packaging is also really, really cute. Nice clear component. And then there's this mini of the corrector. This is probably too light for me anyway, so I'm not mad that it's a mini, but it's a peach. So it helps to correct your under eye circles. You always use a peach to correct any darkness, but this ain't my color peach. 
And then this under eye brightening setting powder. I thought this was the other Hydra Mist um, powder that they have with the net in it, but it's not. Another thing I picked up that I could have picked up from Ulta, but just placed it all together was this Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. Now this one is the honey shade. I already have the regular translucent one. I have re fallen in love with that one and it is translucent but borderline white. It doesn't show white. I've used it before and I wanted to see a lot of people have been talking about this one and how it's better for darker complexions. So this is what it looks like. It is not as white as the other one, but I need to see because I was worried this was going to be like super yellow, which I definitely don't want. Mm. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's a little yellow, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. It kind of reminds me of like what I used. No, I think it'll be fine. If I pile it up right now, that's what it looks like on my hand. So it doesn't look super yellow at all. I think this will be good. I picked up, okay, we all know how expensive fragrances can be. So of course, anytime I can get them on sale, that's really the only time I buy them. I already have quite a collection. I love warm florals. I love clean scents and warm florals. So nine times out of 10, if something says warm floral, I'm probably going to get it. I didn't smell this one. I have no idea what it smells like. This is the Dahlia Divin Eau Initial by Givenchy. This is the box. This is the bottle. Lux AF. And yeah, I like this. I had no idea. I just, let me see. I'm gonna have to let this sit, but I know my favorite right now, like all time, all time signature scent is my Burberry blush. And that's a warm floral. I also like Versace Bright Crystal and what's the other one that I always go to? There's a bunch of different ones. I'll leave a list of some of my other favorites below, but I like this a lot. So this is, what size did I get? This is the 2.5 fluid ounces, regular $93. It was on sale for $69 and the 20% off. It says the fragrance type on this one is floral. It says it's a fruity floral, but I picked it up because it says that it has sandalwood in it, which I have been kind of into lately. So it all started with another fragrance I'm going to show you that got me into sandalwood. Yeah, it says keynotes, jasmine, sandalwood, and magnolia. And it says that it is sensual and it has a magnetic elegance of woods and musk. I do like musky smells as well. Not musty. There is a difference. Musky. So I like this fragrance. I don't know that it smells like anything else that I have. I'm going to have to smell and see. But definitely glad I picked this up, especially for such a steep discount. So the other fragrance that I picked up is this Maison Louis Marie number four, Bois de Balancourt. Now this, I was, I heard about the scent Santal 33. That shit's expensive. I told you guys about how I have my diffuser oil that is a dupe of that. So I, my house, my the front of my house smells like it. And then I found out about this. And so I was like, let me just go in and smell to see if it smells like it. It does. This smells just like Santal 33. And yes, I can tell you that because I have smelled the original. The original bottle is $200. I, I can't, I can't. I have too many perfumes and there's others that I like. This is a different scent. But this one, if I tell you the notes on it, says that it is, sorry, I gotta look it up. It says earthy, woody, warm woods. So warm, Barbara likes it. Sandalwood, vetiver, and amberwood. Doesn't sound like anything I would normally like, but it's just something so sophisticated and sexy about this scent that I was like, I'll pay $28 minus 20%. 
for this, but I'm not paying $200 for the big bottle. I have a dupe. The next thing I picked up was this Primera Mask Pour Le Verre, which is basically a lip mask. It's a Cleanberry lip mask. This was in the sale items, I think for $14. So I just picked it up to try it. This is what the box looks like. I am on month three of my Accutane, so I am still having a lot of dryness and peeling. So I'm picking up every lip mask I can get my hands on, especially if I can get it on sale. This kind of looks like Vaseline. Doesn't smell like anything. Oh, it's not as... I showed you guys the Le Monde one that I picked up a while back. This has the same kind of texture, except it's a little stickier and it's thicker. So it's not as creamy as the Laneige lip mask. Ooh, this is sticky. It kind of reminds me of the Bite Beauty Agave lip mask in terms of how sticky it is. It doesn't have a scent though. It says sea berry for nourishing and muru muru butter for barrier protecting and it is plant-based. And then I picked up three of these brushes. Y'all know I love concealer brushes for blending out my concealer under my eye. This is supposed to be a magnet, but it was $10 on sale for $5 and then 20% off. And it had really good reviews. I like the color. It's like a rose gold and a silver. And I think there's like a magnetic holder that goes with it, but I didn't need that. I just wanted the brush. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is what it looks like. So it's like a rose gold that fades to a silver and it's slightly angled. Like I said, it had good reviews. It was on sale. I got a few of them. We have three more items. The first one, this was honestly just an impulse buy. This is the Natasha Denona Contour Sculpting Powder. I saw it and I was like, I didn't know Natasha went that deep. I looked at it in store and I was like, maybe it's gonna be really sheer. This is a lot deeper than what I remember seeing in the store, which I ain't mad at because it is very hard to find deep powders for us, but she is deep. That is it right there, and I just barely swatched in it. So baby, these cheekbones are about to be chiseled because that's dark. That might be too dark. Okay, Natasha. I'm definitely gonna try it soon because if it's too dark, I'm gonna exchange it and get, the, get a lighter one. This was the darkest shade that they had. I am super excited that I was able to get this. This is the Melt Cosmetics She's in Parties palette. Y'all know I love purple. Melt Cosmetics. I only have, make sure I ain't lying, I'll have two. I have their Rust stack, I believe. Mm, I don't think it's the Rust one because it's the one with the black in it. I'll have to double check the name of it. But I have one of their stacks and then I bought the Impulsive Pigment Palette and I haven't even used that yet. We're not going to talk about that. But this palette just, y'all know this spoke to me on so many levels. And I think because it's a little cool toned on top of it being purple, that's what kind of made me pull the trigger on it. But y'all, when this came in the first time, this shade was shattered and this shade was cracked. This palette is $48. I brought it back and you can't get it in store so I had to order it again and wait and pray that this one was gonna be okay. I don't know what was up with that. The other thing that I ordered that I brought back, I ordered the Natasha Denona Tropic palette and I, I just, I've looked at that thing. It was on sale, it's normally $129. It was on sale for $64, $50 or whatever. And I was like, you know what, it's on sale and 20% off. <laughs> you don't make no sense, but let's go ahead and buy it. And then it came in and two of the shadows were either swatched or somebody had stuck their brush in it. And I could tell it had been open because these little tabs right here, this was actually tucked in the box with the palette. So I'm gonna need y'all to take that back. And I was like, you know what? That's a sign that you didn't need it anyway. So I did not buy it again 
brought it back to the store and left it there. The last thing on the list. First of all, thank you for this packaging because this is too damn expensive to have to worry about it coming in broke. I picked up the Natasha Denona Trio Chrome Palette. Now, real talk, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. The reviews that I've watched, looking at the shades, I just, I'm gonna have to play with it and see because if I don't, if I don't feel like I'm in love with this for it to be $130, $129 minus the 20%, I was not gonna spend full price on it. Of course, the triochrome, triochrome, multi-chrome shades in the middle, that's what drew me in. But I just feel like these shades are kind of light for me. So I don't know. I know I can make them show. I know how to finesse eyeshadows to make them work. I just don't know if this is worth it. You know what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. I'm going to play with it. I know y'all have seen this already, but I'm going to swatch a few. This is Ion, which is that neon yellow. Then Androdite. These are all on the top row. And then I'm also going to swatch Redox, which is one of the purples. And then let's go whoa, with Diatonic. So these are all the mattes. So this is diatonic. That's not that bad. Then this is ion. Then this is androdite. And then this one is Redox. So these are some of the lightest shades in the palette. Now, if they come off looking like that on my eyes, we may not have a problem, but I just don't know how they're gonna apply. I know I'll have to use a lighter base. I know y'all wanna see the multi-chromes. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch those for you too. So the green multi-chrome is Scarab. Then the purple is Kinetic. And then the last peachy, purple, greenish, I don't know, whatever, is Color Flip. So these are the shades right here. I mean, they're gorgeous. This ain't even a lot. It's the main reason why I bought the freaking palette. So this one is Scarab. That doesn't even look green right there. Ah, see? That's how she's going to get me. Oh, man. Then this one is Kinetic. Natasha, why you do this for? Oh, God. You can see the flip on my arm. And then this last one. Oh, no. Okay. This is color flip. This is kinetic. This is scarab. Guys. I mean, you... <laughs> Y'all know I'm going to keep this palette, right? We'll see. We'll see. I do have a confession. I brought back Pat McGrath. It was hard. It was really, really hard. But the fact that I already have the Star Wars, both of the Star Wars, I would have been keeping an $80 palette for two shades because it was literally only the two duo chromes that I was like, gag, I need these. I just, I couldn't, I couldn't. Now... If it goes on sale, I'm still not. I can't. I have so many Pat McGrath shadows that I love and so many other shadows that I love that if I didn't have the other palettes, absolutely would have kept it, no questions asked. But it just didn't make sense for me. So I love the palette. If you don't have any Pat McGrath, definitely pick it up. But for me, I just couldn't do it. And I wanted to be honest because I told you guys I was going to keep it. And then I got my right mind and I brought it back. So that's it for my haul. Not too bad. A little bit of damage, but not too bad. I tell you guys, I try to only shop for makeup when I can get it online. I'm not on nobody's PR list yet. So all of this is my hard-earned money. 
I want to save as much as I can while spending <laughs> what I don't need to. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below and let me know if you picked up anything from the sale or something that you regret not picking up and it's maybe sitting in your cart for the next one. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell and give this video a thumbs up if you like watching hauls. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.